What's up, y'all? It's your boy Mike Beast with Noise Plug, where we bring you great beats, great sounds. You already know. Let's turn it up a notch. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, do your USB MIDI input, change your audio device from Drex Sound Driver to your audio interface, and how to create folders where your drum kits and loop packs are at. So, let's start with um, USB MIDI input. So, you want to go to the top where File Edit add pattern view options so go to options where you see where it says systems at go to midi settings and you gotta see an output and an input so down um input go down here where it says controller type generic controller now i know for sure that mine's not gonna be up in here uh, so i'm gonna go to generic controller uh, once you turn your USB keyboard on, it should turn green where the enable is right here is. See if we got some sounds. So that's how you do the MIDI input. Now I'm going to show you how to change your audio device from direct sound driver to your auto interface so go back to the top go over to option go to audio setting right here where it say input and output device you're gonna have your direct sound driver your sound driver your speaker this is gonna be your normal sound drivers right here but then you got iso so for my interface I have fast track duo and then I had the digi design inbox 2 well these are my interface right here so this is where you selected at right here for your interface and then the last thing I uh, had to email somebody asked me how well, how do you create the folders for your drum kits and loop packs so basically what you do you go to the top go to options go to file settings so you gotta see right here matter of fact I'm gonna talk about the plugins too so to do the uh, drum kits and the loop packs to create a folder you gotta click this little icon where the folders at where they located it so say if I click download I hit download this is where my folders at then on the right side say browser name so wherever you type in this blue mark right here it's gonna be over here it's gonna be right over here on the left side where you see my um, finger at moving it's gonna be over here in order so say if I type in let's make it real can I hold your hand in companionship to death together with how to she said don't hurt me I can't heal anymore you want to restructure it see how to's right here how to's right here so when you do click on it boom it's right there then let's go to the next thing how to do your plugins so matter of fact let me take you back out go over here to option Go to manage plugins so you already installed and you got them in a uh you already got your file in a folder where all your plugins are at you go to manage plugins and make sure you got these settings where it's a scan option make sure you got these same schedule settings make sure you got these same settings And then you're gonna go right here to find where your plugins at. Click that folder. Once you get done clicking that folder, you're done. Then go up here to find plugin, and you're gonna see like some. You gonna see it searching like this. But every time that you put a new plugin, make sure you got like I said, make sure you got this um, scan option. Make sure you got these two marked so they don't go through all of them again. 
So that's that's how you um, do your USB MIDI input. This is how you change your auto device from your direct sound driver to your auto interface and how to create folders for your drum kits and loop packs and how to um, find your plugins. I hope this video helped everybody. Um, if you need more help, let me know. Everybody have a great day. Thank you. Feeling this like spiritual healing when you find your queen, know you gotta feel me.